Hello, my goodness. Thanks very much for all of you, uh, to all of you for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed the spectacular launch this morning. I, I've just got a, a very quick statement that I'd like to make, and then I think they're going to let me answer, try to answer two questions, and then, then we'll be out of here because I, I know you all are whipped. Um, I, I really want to take this opportunity to congratulate SpaceX for, for the successful launch this morning and actually salute the NASA team that worked alongside them to make it happen. Today marks the beginning of a new era in exploration, a future in space that will create good paying jobs here on the, on the Florida coast as well as throughout the United States of America. The significance of this day cannot be overstated. A private company has launched a spacecraft to the International Space Station that will attempt to dock there for the first time. And while there's a lot of work ahead to successfully complete this mission, we're certainly off to a good start and I hope you would all agree on that. Under President Obama's leadership, the nation is embarking upon an ambitious exploration program that will take us farther into space than we've ever been before. We're handing off to the private sector our transportation to the International Space Station so that NASA can focus on what we do best, exploring even deeper into our solar system with missions to an asteroid and Mars on the horizon. We're committed to ending the outsourcing of work on America's space program and bringing these jobs back home to America. And we're working to promote competition and have multiple private sector partners so we don't find ourselves in the situation we're in today, having only one way to get our astronauts to the space station. The decision to end the shuttle program back in 2004 was actually a, dis a difficult one. But with the kind of hard work, determination, and ingenuity for which NASA and this nation are known, we're now back on the brink of a new future. A future that stands on the shoulders of Mercury and Gemini, Apollo and Shuttle. A future that embraces the innovation the private sector brings to the table. And a future that opens up the skies to endless possibilities. Again, congratulations to the SpaceX and NASA teams and Godspeed Dragon. With that, I'll take a couple of questions if you have them. And you don't have to feel compelled to ask. Yes. The, the question for those of you who may not have heard is, you know, how much does today's flight validate the approach that NASA's taking to commercial space flight and what does it say to the naysayers? I, you know, I, what it does today is it demonstrates what we've said was the future of American space, space exploration. It, and it's, it's actually using private industry to provide for access to low Earth orbit while NASA goes off and does what, as I said, what NASA does best. And that's exploring, doing things that private industry cannot do uh, or should not do. Taking the risks uh, in things like sending humans to an asteroid, to Mars, to other places in our solar system. So it, it's a great day for, for America. It's, a, I, it's actually a great day for the world because, um, you know, there are people who thought that, that uh, we had gone away and, and today says, no, we're not gone away at all. We've got the Dragon, the uh, SpaceX NASA team that came through this morning with flying colors and I hope everybody celebrates that for what it is. Uh, the question was, you know, today was a launch that was very successful. Uh, this, for SpaceX, will end their participation in the COTS program, and then they move, you didn't say all this, but I'm, I'm, I'm amplifying, and then they move into CRS, which is Cargo Resupply Services, um, and, and how difficult is it from here on out? Uh, as I briefed to folk who were our guests over in OSB2, today was the first of a number of milestones in this mission. What a spectacular start. Uh, I mean, it was just picture perfect, uh, picture perfect launch, everything on the vehicles working well. The next big milestone for us um, is about, geez, about an hour from now, when the GNC door on the Dragon module opens, that exposes the, the star trackers and the navigation instruments on board Dragon to uh, deep space. More importantly, though, when that door opens, it has the grapple fixture on the inside of the door. We have to have the door lock in place uh, in order for Dragon to be berthed to the International Space Station. So, so that's the next big hurdle. Uh, after that, we've got a few days for Dragon to get itself kind of, if, if you think about it as a human, to get its, uh, you know, its space legs on and, and get accustomed to being there. 
and then uh, tomorrow and the day after, they actually affect the rendezvous with the International Space Station where Dragon finds it, which is not, I mean, that's not a small task. After that happens, Dragon will fly around the International Space Station, uh, do some maneuvers to demonstrate its ability to be controlled uh, from the ground and its ability to do autonomous control on board the Dragon itself. Then it uh, will back off, will take uh, a few hours or a day or so because that, that will complete flight number two of the demonstration flights. And then once the Dragon team, uh, the SpaceX team and, and the NASA teams get together uh, with our international partners, by the way, and say, okay, we think everything is met, all the criteria are met for approach, close approach to the International Space Station, then Dragon will close to within meters of the International Space Station. The onboard crew will take over from there on, will reach out with the Space Station arm, uh, get hold of the grapple fixture, pull it up snugly to the International Space Station. It'll be, have some bolts that'll be screwed in place and make it one with the International Space Station. When all the pressures are checked on both sides of the hatch, the crew will physically open the hatch and that will expose uh, Dragon's interior to the crew inside the International Space Station. And for the next few days, there'll be one vehicle. Not an easy uh, pass. Not an, uh, not an easy pass. This is, um, this is, this is good stuff. Uh, you know, I, I, I tell people all the time, I'm, I am really excited about what's going on. This is what makes people in the space business get up in the morning and come to work. Uh, and, and hopefully, since most of you are space reporters, you wouldn't be out here if you weren't excited about this. So hopefully the stories you tell today and tomorrow and the weeks ahead will be stories about victory and triumph because, you know, the future will have some difficult times. But today, it's a time for the United States, for SpaceX and the NASA team to celebrate. And, and that, that's all I'm going to have time for. I, I really apologize. But I'm, I'm trying to get back to Washington for some meetings. Thanks very much. Thank you.